Hello, in this video, we're going to be solving question 36 of 2021 Junior Mathematics Olympiad first round. Find how many digits the number 8 raised power 28 times 5 raised power 80 has. So let's just write down this number here. So 8 raised power 28 times 5 raised power 80. And we're going to write this as, so since 8 is 2 raised power 3, we'll write this as 2 raised power 3 raised power 28 times 5 raised power 80. And then 2 raised power 3 raised power 28 will be 2 raised power 3 times 28. And we have times 5 raised power 80. And 3 times 28 is 84. So this will be 2 raised power 84 times 5 raised power 80. Then we're going to split this 2 raised power 84 now into two parts. We'll have the first part that'll be 2 raised power 4. And we'll have 2 raised power 80. So the reason why we're separating it is because we have 5 raised power 80 and we want some numbers to multiply together to give us 10, right? So let's continue with that. So we write this as 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power 80 times 5 raised to power 80. And then 2 raised to power 80 times 5 raised to power 80 can be written as 2 raised to power 4 times 2 times 5 raised to power 80, which is um, 10 raised to power 80. So here we have 2 raised to power 4 times 10 raised to power 80. Okay, so um, this is the same as the number that we started with. So 3 raised power 4 times 10 raised power 80 is the same as 8 raised power 28 times 5 raised power 80. And what we're going to notice here is that, okay, let's write this as 16 times 10 raised power 80. So you can, if you want to write um, 16 times 10 raised power 80 out explicitly, it's going to be 16 followed by 80, 0. So you have 16, 0, 0, 0. And then many more zeros and a final zero at the end. And you're going to have 80 zeros here, right? So it's just like when you multiply, um, let's say, um, 2 by 100. This would just be 2 followed by 2 zeros. If you multiply 2 by 10 raised to the power 5, this would just be 2 followed by 5 um, zeros, right? But here you're multiplying 16 by 10 raised to the power 80. So this is going to be 16 followed by 80 zeros. So there'll be 80 of them. So that's just how we got this. And since we know that this number here is 16 followed by 80 zeros, we can just, we can from here get that um, this number will have 82 digits. Thus, the digits will be um, the one here. So one will be the first digit, six will be the second digit. And after um, one and six, you have 80 more digits that are just zeros. So um, in total, this number is going to have 82 digits and B will be the correct option here. Yeah, so that's how to go about solving this question.